CBS 46 is on top of breaking international news this morning. 23 people are either dead or they're presumed dead after an animation studio fire in Kyoto, Japan. Investigators say more than 70 people were inside the studio when this fire broke out. Right now, police think someone deliberately set this fire. Mm. More breaking news right now, this time closer to home, a Birmingham police officer spending his birthday in the hospital after he was shot by a robbery suspect. That shooting happened last night in downtown Birmingham. Investigators say Officer Cullen Stafford was shot several times after just trying to stop the suspect. Other officers arrived and they killed the suspect in a shootout. 6.03 and breaking overnight, a deadly collision between a man on a scooter and a transit bus. That man on the scooter did not survive. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm, she's live in Midtown right now. Rebecca, it's not clear at this point who may have been at fault. That's true, Karen and Gravier. Good morning to you. Yeah, police should get a better idea of who was at fault when they take a look at some video from the cameras mounted inside the bus. The accident happened right here at this intersection. This is West Peachtree and 15th Street, right here at the Arts Center Transit Station. It was about 1030 last night when a Cobb Link bus was turning right onto 15th Street. It struck a man who was apparently on a scooter and he died on impact. Police tell us he was 37 years old. We're working to notify, or they are working to notify his relatives right now. Police say there were passengers on the bus at the time, but apparently nobody saw what led up to the collision. People who live around here tell us it's an eye opener about the dangers of those electric scooters. It's horrifying because they can even be anybody. It could be me, it can be anyone and uh, this is like a wake-up call. The drivers need to pay more attention to what they're doing and also us as people too as the community we need to pay attention also as well and we need to be alert we don't need to be on our phones we don't need to be texting while we're on these scooters. And as you know those rentable scooters have become really popular in the last couple of years and now this makes the second time a person on a scooter has been struck and killed here in the city of Atlanta. We will let you know when we learn the identity of the victim in this case.